Hi there and welcome to my channel. So today's video we are going to be doing some propagating of some of these flowers that I have taken from my garden last fall. These are a couple kinds of coleuses and these are two impatient plants. So last fall before the frost came I took some cuttings, I rooted these, I put them into these pots and they have been sitting in my windowsill down in my growing space all winter and they've really taken off. I had some blooming of these impatience a couple times over the winter, which was really nice. And as you can see, these coleuses are growing like crazy. So today I'm going to try to go back to taking some more cuttings, putting them into water, uh, rooting them, and see if we can get some nice plants ready to put outside in my summer garden again. So as you can see here, these um, impatients are really getting quite gangly and long. And I'm going to see if I can get at least about four cuttings off of this one plant here. And we'll just put them in some jar of water here. This is just tap water that I've had left sitting for a couple days. So I'm going to take a cutting right down to this main stem here. I can see that there's some sprouting happening. Sorry. I can see that there's some sprouting happening down here, so it could be that this this original plant will grow some more from the from the base here. So here's one that I just cut off and I'm going to just snip away some of these branches and hopefully some some rooting will come from them. Each of these nodes is already shooting out a little green flowers. I'm just going to remove them right now. So I want to just remove some of these bigger leaves just because they're just taking up extra energy. I might even just take away this big one. So I'm basically cutting them right down to nothing. But as long as I have some of these nodes here under the water, I think they should send out some roots. I just had to pause the camera here because I could see that these were not going to sit in this wide mouth jar very well. So what I've done is I've taken some painter's tape and just created kind of a crisscross pattern over the jar so that you can stick your cuttings in here and it's got something to kind of hang on to and you can get about five or six into this one container going. Okay so from these two um, impatience plants that I've chopped right down we now have about eight or so in this one jar. So I have found coleuses are super easy to um, propagate in water. Um, one thing that I have learned about them though is to not put them outside too early in the spring because they are not very frost tolerant at all. I lost a whole bunch of my coleuses last spring that I, I put out in my pots too early and uh, we had a late frost and I killed most of them. So that was too bad. This is a beautiful one. Once it really takes off in your flower pots or flower beds, I really like this. I'd like to get more varieties of coleuses this year. Some different colors, try to keep them going, keep them alive all winter. They make a wonderful house plant. Okay, so that was super quick. And you can see now we have probably eight or ten coleuses here that we'll try to root. So I'm going to keep these up here on the top shelf of my growing station here. They will not be in direct sunlight, but they will get some natural lighting from the uh, window here. And these guys that have been hacked right down to nothing, I'll keep them here in the window. Uh, they'll get some morning sun and we'll see if they grow back and we can get maybe some, even some more cuttings off them in another month or so. 
So next up here, I want to do some propagating of herbs into these little jars here that I got set up and see if I can get some rooted and ready to go outdoors into my herb garden. I, every year I like to set up a small herb garden on my deck just off my kitchen so that uh, when I'm cooking and stuff I can just step outside and cut off some fresh herbs and add them to my cooking. So these um, herbs that I have growing here are all done using a hydroponic method rather than being grown in dirt. If you follow me on my channel, you know that I do a lot of hydroponic growing using the crack key method. So basically all these are are plants that I have growing in water. This is my rosemary. Just wanna show you, they're just roots growing in nutrient water. There's no dirt at all. So all winter I have been enjoying my basil, rosemary, oregano, I got some fresh dill, and also some green onions here. So all winter long, I just come and snip away um, some fresh herbs whenever I'm cooking and it's been really great. So I highly recommend if you want to start a hydroponic growing, whether it's just in the winter or all year round, herbs are something that are super easy to get going. I have a lot of videos on them, so just be sure to check that out. So today in this video, I'm going to just going to be taking some cuttings from my oregano, rosemary, and basil. So this oregano plant is getting pretty full and bushy, so I probably will take some uh, cuttings and dry these as well. So if I can't use them fresh, then I can just dry them and uh, keep them in my spice cupboard. So I'm going to do the same as what I had done with the coleuses and the impatience and just try to uh, pinch off a lot of these leaves and just pinch it down to the nodes here so that they have something to root from. So I'll just get all those little tiny leaves. I'll just pinch them off now. And I've done the same thing with these little jars. If you can just find some kind of tape to make a kind of a crisscross to help hold these in place a little bit better. Uh, the tape I did use didn't stick very good, so I've used some electrical tape. So I think the best thing is uh, electrical or maybe some painter's tape if you can find a, the thinner strip stuff. So that way you got kind of something to hang on to here. So I'm just gonna fill this up with a bunch of oregano uh, sprigs. So there is my little cuttings of oregano. I probably have about eight or so going in there, but you can uh, take as many as you need or as many as you want, depending on how much you want to put out in your garden. I don't keep a very big patch outside in the summer, but uh, that's totally up to you. So I just also wanted to show you here, this is my uh, no electricity required dehydrating system that I have downstairs in my grow space. This is just a bunch of layers of coffee filters that I use to dry my herbs rather than having to collect a whole bunch and putting them into a dehydrator and running it um, you know for several hours. I just throw my herbs, cut them as required. This is some basil, some dill, uh, and now all the leaves that I took from my oregano just now and I just throw it in here into these coffee filters and let them dry naturally and keep a one on top just to keep the you know any dust or dirt or whatever off of them and then once they're completely dried I can just throw them into a jar into my spice cupboard and use them as needed. So I'm really happy with the growth on this rosemary plant. They are really slow to start and grow from seed, I found. But um, again, I just, I'm growing these hydroponically and it has really taken off. I got some really nice thick stalks here that I can take a cutting of and pull all these extra leaves off, put them in my little dehydrating system here in the coffee filters.
I really enjoy having herbs growing indoors. I find that the when I'm downstairs just working in my growing space, I always have to rub my hands on a little bit of rosemary or the basil oregano and just enjoy that aromatherapy that you get from these spices. So I think that is a pretty good cutting here. There's a few uh, different nodes here that these leaves came from that should hopefully sprout. So basil is a very easy plant to propagate um, cuttings in water. It seems to root pretty fast. I haven't tried this myself, but I'm pretty sure if you were to buy some fresh herbs from the grocery store, such as, you know, the basil, the oregano, um, rosemary that you find in the grocery store, I'm pretty sure if you took a couple of those sprigs, put them in some water, that you could get them rooting and uh, grow them in your garden next year. So my herbs are all in water now and again I will make sure that the water level stays up high so that these can root and to also make sure to refresh the water every week or so. And now I also have a good supply of herbs drying here that I'll be able to add to my spice cupboard soon. So as I mentioned earlier, these will be sitting on the shelf out of direct sunlight while they root, but I wanted to just bring them here and put them into some good light because it has been about a week since I have taken the impatience and coleus cuttings. And I just wanted to zoom in here to show you how we already have a lot of rooting action happening on the impatience here. And over here with the coleuses, I hope you can see this, but there's lots of roots coming on them. They root pretty fast. You can also see on these coleuses that we have some tiny little roots coming. So that's very exciting. So as we get closer to the last frost date when we can safely plant these outdoors, I will pot them up in soil in containers and get them transitioned and hardened off and ready to go into my outdoor garden. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how you can take your plants and multiply them into many, many more for free or for a very low cost. If you choose to go buy some herbs from the store and try rooting them, I encourage you to give that a try. Or if you have any plants that you can propagate and root and multiply for your outdoor garden, give it a try. Rooting in water is super easy. So I'll be doing a follow-up video in a month or so, potting these into containers in soil. So please stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video. Thanks for watching.